Okay, here we go, guys. Hey, shut up. Crockett, look at the waste. Let's dig it out right this minute. That will lift the printer of war hanging around this place. I'm surprised no one did it before. We have returned to automate steer clear of such horrors. It's a disgrace. I do believe that some of the fairy folk had lost their marbles because of the waste. It made the trees suffer. Some rotten, that's for sure. We must dig the waste without a moment's delay and get away from the tree as fast as possible. I should go ask Rocket and Raccoon for help digging, but the pound's church is far too large to remove. We would never do it on our own. If only three bridges could join us, perhaps we manage. I'll let you summon your raccoon. We go look for volunteers. Three, you say. Let's go. Say, Ray, I've never been very happy with your methods. They can be a bit abrupt, but you have achieved much, and thanks to you, we have a slender chance of saving the fairy kingdom. What you getting at? I want you to have this. It's an object we passed on for generations to generations of a family. I am not sure what to use for it, but you will find it much more use than I for it than I. Thank you, Grim. Even if you do complain all the time, I'm happy you're with us. Come on, let's get going. My drones have seized up from all of this standing around. Very well, let's go. Let's go ask the freaking bee man. The Yemens have buried the waste at the foot of the tree. That's what is killing the tree. I still need volunteers to remove it. You can count me on. I'll see you at the foot of the tree. Thank you. Let's see who else. Ooh. Front. I need help digging the human waste from the roots of the, the tree. It's the waste that is killing the tree. I'll lend a hand, no worries. If it means saving our tree, I'll get down right away. When you're ready, count on me in. I'll meet you there as soon as I find enough volunteers. Oh. oh my god. Are you saying I'm fat, you cheeky little rascal? You just had to get my get by without my help. I'll get by without you. There should be other volunteers. And she's too old. Um less sex to girl, but she probably won't help. Thanks her for help. Well, his ex, uh... See, I don't agree with your methods. Like, yeah, whatever. Brute force. Hey, I tried to do it the other way around, dude. Don't complain. Ugh. Yeah, his house is usually very hard to find. I just look... There's a bird. There he is.
damn it. Of course, what can I do for you? I'm Clara Blue Plant. Usually there's a farm who supplies me, but he became the oldest of the old state of late. I dare you go near him. There's a fair of violence in him. What can I do to calm him? I've never been to the burners, but perhaps we don't need to get good thrashing to bring it to assistance. I don't believe his clue from a ago. Perhaps she has some advice to how to calm him. I'll start the problem and be back. Where can I find him? He wanted the branches. I'm not sure exactly where you can find him. He does like to roam around. I'm fine. I'm seeing him too. Okay, this ex Gabigal, whatever her name is. He ate the pudding too. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he was high, so. Oh, I'm getting right. I'm looking for someone to come and fawn. The one leaping around the branches over there. He's possessed, you know. I would like to avoid knocking him about. I could risk up something smooth and poultry for him, but I will need the fellow of a bird in the highest leaf on from the tree. Do you think you can bring me those things since the tree's been sick? I don't venture far from home. Don't go anywhere. I'll bring you ingredients right away. So the highest... Highest... 30R. Now we gotta get a feather from a bird. There we go. Now we gotta go back to Gabigal. There's the violent dude right there. Oh, crap. I forgot what Gabigal was. There she is. Look and Rye. I have brought you the feather and the leaf you need to take care for the fawn. Fur free. What? A furry yacht Christmas? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we just saw him. Where was he? Okay, just saw him. Where was he? I know it was shiny where he was at. Oh, come on, we just saw him. Where was he? Oh, there he is. What the? What happened to me? I seem to remember being a big angry thing, see with the hatred and vile, and now... Everything's hunky donkey. It's it's your potion. That's what cured me. Thank you. Oh, thank you. If you ever come back again, do think, give me a recipe. You were really violent before you drank it. So violent that the other inhabitants were scared of you. Gary got before the potion. It seems it did the trick. And sure you can't read. Oh, thank you for bringing me back to my senses. If you don't mind, I think I'll go lay down. I feel weak and fumble. All that anger fear wore me out. Wait, before you go to bed, can you supply Virgo to the artist with some blue paint? He's completely run out and he always loved yours. Naturally, dear girl, all that huffing and puffing made me forget my blue paint. Go tell him that as soon as I can have a snooze, I'll take some to him. Very well, I shall go to him right away. Have a good rest. Abigail.
There he is. He's good. With the help of the fairy, I was able to bring the farm back to his senses. He'd be assuming his blue paint dealer very shortly. Oh, thank you. What a marvelously service you have performed for me and for the dear fawn to no doubt. Take this crown. I find it brings so much more coming these days. Thank you for the skill. Farewell. See, we gotta find someone. Um. Oh, what about the guy near the ant hill? I was told there is a waste buried in the roots of the tree and that is what is killing it. I need as many as way as possible to help me dig it out. You can count on me. Wait, you say. That's outrageous. Thank you and farewell. Let's go, you guys. Here we go, guys. We're going to clean out the freaking waste. We got to defeat a boss battle. So, I'll be back. 